I mean, what do you expect? Look, we live in a terribly dark world. And in a dark world, we continue to hear about dark things. And the news continues to demonstrate to us that uh, we live in a Christ-hating world, right? I'm looking at this article in Breitbart that says World Cup. Ready for this? This this one's interesting. Nike bans Jesus, African gods from personalized Brazil jerseys. Muhammad is still available. Let me tell you what the gist of this story is. Let me read it to you. It says Nike's distributor in Brazil, which has rights to sell the official national team jerseys for the FIFA World Cup, is no longer allowing customers to order personalized jerseys with Jesus or Christ or other Christian terms following complaints from African paganists this week. The FIFA World Cup begins on Sunday and is one of the planet's most prestigious sporting events. It is particularly popular in Brazil, the winningest country in the history of the tournament with five champions. Now, Fasia, the company serving as Nike's distributor in the country, reportedly added Jesus, a common male name in Latin America, and Christ to its list of prohibited personalization terms on Wednesday after the country's federal public ministry, its attorney's general office, intervened out of concern for religious discrimination. Now, this is kind of crazy because... They say it's religious discrimination to allow the name Jesus Christ to be on their jerseys, yet the practicers of Santaria and all the other kind of crazy pagan nonsense that everybody is pursuing is completely acceptable. As a matter of fact, if you want to put the name Muhammad on your jersey, you can totally do that. So that begs to ask this question, why? Why is it that you can put any term you want, you can put pagan, uh, uh, literal uh, head-hunting names of gods on a shirt, you can put vulgarity, you can put curse words, but when you want to put the name Jesus Christ, the Messiah, if you want to put that on a shirt, it is literally considered contraband. I'll tell you why. Because the name of Christ is a reminder to all of the fact that there is evil in this world. The name of Christ brings conviction to the hearts of man who have hardened their hearts as a result of their desire to want to continue to sin. And this is a manifestation of why people are filled with hatred towards the things of God. Folks, this is evil. It shouldn't surprise us. We should be reminded by stuff of this, like this, that we are in a spiritual battle. And in a spiritual battle, we need to deal with it in a very spiritual way. Time to open up our eyes, folks. We live in a dark world, but guess what? Jesus Christ, he's greater. God bless you.